Good evening, and welcome to Times Live. We have a new feature this evening that we're going to be doing, and it's the feature of Cedar Ridge Arabians with their Futurity Maturity Private Treaty Sale. And with me this evening is one of the owners of Cedar Ridge, Lolly Ames. Hi, Walter. And Lolly and her husband Dick and daughter, owner of Cedar Ridge, have been good friends of mine for years and years. And for years you've bred and owned and trained many, many national champions, halter, performance. The room is adorned with, as you can see, many national champions. This is Lolly's office. And what we're going to do today is have a little introduction from Lolly and tell about the private treaty auction, excuse me, sale that we'll have. And you'll see the horses in a little bit when we go to the barns. So Lolly, tell me. You've had lots and lots of national champions that you've owned and bred, but you've sold lots of them. Correct. And lots of them have gone on for great, great owners to win many, many national champions. So Correct. tell me a little bit about the horses that we're going to see. Well, the majority of the horses you're going to see today is, some of them are going back to three generations. We, we were very lucky to have Brass, Matoy, we now have Noble Collars and Encore. So our bloodlines, in these horses are, are starting way back when your great-grandmother was born on the place. Yeah, because you've been doing the horses for 44 years. 44 years. So many, many generations of national champions. So you know these horses. Correct. You can represent these horses, and you can tell the people, the new buyers, what they can expect and the greatness that they'll achieve with each of these individuals. Our horses are handled from, from day one. I really truly believe in, in imprinting because I think it goes all the way down the line to when that amateur or child takes that horse, takes possession when you sold it to them, they can get along with it. Well, this is going to be exciting. Lolly, I think it's time for us to go to the barn, see the horses, and have the people enjoy these great horses that they can purchase. All right, we're back times live, and we've now moved down to the Cedar Ridge Arena. And we're gonna see some great horses. This is my co-host, Leah Beth Boyd. She's one of the trainers here at Cedar Ridge Arabians, and she's gonna help moderate this panel of great horses that you're gonna see. We're gonna see 10 horses, and we're gonna start with the first horse that's up, and Leah Beth, it's up to you. You tell us who we're gonna see first. Um, the first horse we're gonna see is Ames Inspiration. He's a four-year-old, sired by a noble cause out of a Chief Justice daughter. Um, he's a really great amateur prospect. All of our Noble Cause babies that we've started here have been very trainable and smart and willing to do their job and great amateur type horses and Ames Inspiration is no exception. These are all horses that Cedar Ridge has trained, most of them bred. They know the fathers, the mothers. These are horses that you can take this year to the Futurity Maturity and years to come. So these are great ones that we can have as fun. Yep, absolutely. All right, so folks, this is again Ames Inspiration, four-year-old gelding. Very special, lots of talent. He really has a very sporty way of going. He's very eye-catching in the show ring. John's doing a great job. How long has he been under saddle? Um, he, uh, he was ready to go for the three-year-old class, so probably a little over a year. Okay. So most of these horses are nice and fresh and ready to go. Well, he's, John's getting them rolling. Yes, and this horse has been shown by an amateur. All right, it's pretty special. Now all these horses, so that everyone knows, you can contact John mm -hmm. or Leah Beth. Yep. And you know, the horses are priced reasonably. And so if you want them to stay with Cedar Ridge or you want to keep them with your trainer that you have, whatever you like. Absolutely. That's something that uh, I think Cedar Ridge has done a great job with over the years is breeding horses that are amateur friendly, that can go on and do a job with amateurs. Next horse we have is Matoy's of Fire. Matoy's of Fire is a special, special five-year-old purebred gelding. He's sired by the national champion Matoy, and he's out of the Cedar Ridge aristocrat mare, a fire in the eyes. You can tell us a little bit about a fire in the eyes, too. She's a great mare. The fire in my eyes is the dam of Ames Mirage and also Ames Deja Vu um, that have both been great producers. And this little horse is really fun. He's, his 
father's son. He looks almost identical to Matoy. Yeah, he's a he's got the Matoy look, doesn't he? Yeah, and he's just really fun. He's really fun to show and train. Um, I've gotten the pleasure of showing this horse um, this year so far, and he just goes in and puts his ears forward, and it's really light in the bridle. He's going to be a really fun one. Looks like it'd be a great amateur mount. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And again, all these horses, he's a five-year-old, so he's eligible for the maturity fraternity. He's ready to go for U.S. Nationals. Yep, he could show in the maturity this year and next year, and in the junior horse this year. So. Well, he's certainly got the Matoy look and the Matoy talent. Yep. He lives up to his lineage very well. He looks like John's having a good time riding. <laughs> we really enjoy working the McToy horses. They, they're all, they have their own special personalities and he's no exception. Great, great horse. Five-year-old. Buy him or try to beat him. All right, here's a special one. This is a, a great horse. This is Royal Flush. Tell us a little bit about it. This horse is sired by Vegas out of the Saddlebred Mare. He's five years old. Um, he's really cool. He's big. He has a ton of presence. Great behind. Great up front. Very handsome. Um, we're just starting to see the Vegas horses out in the show ring, and the ones that we have here, we've been very impressed with. And certainly, certainly, we're very impressed with this one. He's always a joy to work and to be around, and I think he's going to be a super fun, super fun mount for. Um, any amateur in the maturity as well as junior horse. This horse has got a lot of motion on it, you know, front and back. This horse reminds me a lot of the, a lot of the Vegas horses that I've seen that have been great, great. And as we know, Vegas has been national champion. He's now up at Springwater Farms, doing a great job out there. He was previously with Chris Wilson. And Chris and John both have told me that the Vegas horses are unbelievable fun to train and I had the pleasure of knowing Vegas um, when I worked at Christian Park and he was a really fun personable horse to be around and he's passing that disposition on. He's definitely ready for this year's nationals. Yep, he's going to be hard to miss in the show ring. He's very cool. Looks like he's a big horse. Yes, very big. There's a great one. All right, boy, this is a special one. I mean, he's got the pedigree and the talent to match. This is Toy Fabulous. Now, anybody that's been involved in the Arabian horse industry for any length of time knows about his siblings. Tell them who the siblings are, Leo. Well, his most famous sibling is Toy Slamtastic, who was reserve national champion this year at US and um, has won many national championships um, in his lifetime, half of English horse really great one. Um, this has been a really um, successful cross for Cedar Ridge. There are um, a number of brothers and sisters out there that are successfully competing in the show ring and this horse is super soft. He's huge, um, beautiful, I think a little prettier than a lot of um, a lot of half Arabs out there and he just he has a, a way of going about him that makes you want to watch him. He's okay, gonna be now really folks, fun. he's he's by Matoy, so everybody realizes by national champion Matoy, and he's out of the multinational champion producing Saddlebred Mayor Fantasy Watch. So again, he's got the siblings that have already proven in the showing that they're national champion. If you were at last year's nationals, this horse resembles that great horse that that John rode and did a great job, and that was. Toy Slamtastic, mm -hmm. correct? Yep, Toy Slamtastic. So yeah. this is one that's got the quality, the talent, the pedigree, the ability to be your next national champion. This is a very, very special horse. Yep, and he's five, so maturity eligible. Leah, you're up next. Tell us about this is a special horse that we love. This is a mare named My Starina. She's a half Arabian. Um, she's sired by Brushfire V out of a really nice saddlebred mare, Royal Starina. Um, she's really laid back. She's got a great neck, good hind end, pretty motion. 
She's going to make a fantastic amateur horse and junior rider horse, equitation horse at some point. She's priced reasonably, ready to sell, ready to go. She's really cool. We have fun with this one. Every day, ears forward all the time. Only a five-year-old. Five years old. And how long have you had this one under training? Um, a couple years. A couple years she's been. So she's good and solid and ready for the amateur or yep, whatever you like? Yep, she's very straightforward to ride. Um, you can come in here and spook her up one day and then she'll come in and flat foot walk the next day. She's just very, very good minded. She likes to work, tries hard. You can see she just wants to stick that neck right up in the air. Now, I think you had told us earlier when we looked at her in the barn that she's a very friendly horse and loves people. Mm -hmm. Yep, very personable. Her owner um, and breeder is around all the time and giving her lots of attention. So she's very, very people friendly, loves attention, treats really, really great um, junior amateur prospect right here. Great for a youth. Yes, she's just very pretty. She has the look everything that you need. Wonderful horse. All right, folks, there it is. Okay, this next one is a special one to Leah. This has got a great name and a great horse. His name is Charles in Charge. Tell us about Charles. Yep. Chucky. Otherwise known as Chuck. Um, <laughs> he's another Noble Cause son. Um, and again, we've really liked our Noble Cause babies. Um, very trainable, good attitudes. This horse always gives 110% when he comes out to work. Um, great behind. He's going to end up having a ton of front end motion. Very pretty. He's a very handsome horse. Um, good size. He's out of SHF Applejacks, who is very closely related, related to Vegas and Encore, who are both national champion English and park horses, respectively. And. Uh, so he's got, got some good family history. He's only a five-year-old, so he'd be ready for the Nationals this year. Yep, ready to go junior horse or maturity. And I think he'll be really fun. Um, you kind of shake a bag at him, and he gets pretty high on himself. Um, so I think he'll be a really fun one to take into the show ring. Looks like he can really bend and blow. Mm -hmm. He's one that just gets better all the time. The longer he's in training, the more we like him. I know John said he's having fun riding this one. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Tom. There's the five-year-old. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay, next we got Ames Tacoma. Ames Tacoma is a four-year-old purebred gelding, again by the great noble cause. He's out of him with toy daughter, so he's got the pedigree, and he's got the look, and he's a horse that can really do something for you. Uh, he's very handsome. He's got a lot of quality. As you can see, he's a very compact horse and a sporty horse. Great attitude. And he's only four, so he's a lot of a lot of uh, maturity and maturity years ahead of him. He's eligible for the four-year-old class at U.S. this year. Um, also, the at the celebration. Their maturity classes are four and five year olds, so um, somebody could take this guy there and show him amateur. Um, very laid back, very personable, um, very nice horse. Looks like he'd be a great, great country horse. Mm -hmm. Yep, he has um, very pretty motion, very pretty, good size. Is he a horse for good for an amateur or junior? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He probably. Uh, we need a little bit more finishing just to be um, ready for that, but I don't think it would take long at all for him to excel in that in those divisions. Yep, he's just been very um, accepting to anything we ask of him. He's come above and beyond. So. Oh, well, he's got the pedigree and the look to do it. Folks, that concludes our live portion here at Cedar Ridge, and we're going to go to a pre-recorded portion because these are young horses that Leah Beth and John have been working. There's going to be three of them, and they're all in lines. And a little announcement before we go to that, just so you know, anybody that wants to wish Leah and John congratulations, <laughs> November 22nd is the big day for the baby. Hopefully it's Walter and all that stuff. <laughs> 
So we're going to have a lot of fun. So folks, enjoy the next three horses pre-recorded here at Cedar Ridge. First one is going to be a special horse by the name of My Fine Penny. Yes. Penny is um, a four-year-old half Arabian mare. Um, she's really cool. She's got a great hind end. Um, she can stick her neck really high up in the air. In the video that you're seeing, she's wearing plates, and um, so she's going to have plenty of motion. Um, very pretty. She's sired by Highfalutin, who is a Philander Bay son, and out of a nice saddlebred mare. So, very good prospect. All right, folks, the next one is I Mean to Show CRF. She's sired by a noble cause and out of the great saddleman mare, Dirty Girl. Leah, tell them about it. Um, this mare really lives up to her name. She, as a baby, had tons of snort and blow, and it's the same now. Very marchy, um, four white socks, gonna be a standout in the show ring. She's by noble cause. Um, really, really nice for charity prospects. Yeah, you're not gonna. You're not going to miss this one in the show ring. Okay, so this one is, is ready to go for the half Arabian futurity class at this year's nationals. Yep, yep. All right, I think Dick Ames names this last one. Its name is Ames Heartthrob, a four-year-old, sired by a noble cause. Okay, tell us something about Heartthrob. Heartthrob, um, glamorized, dam of uh, glamour shot and toy diva, both multinational champions. Um, half Arabs in the youth divisions and open divisions. Um, this mare is really cool. She's the first of her cross noble cause in um, Glamour Eyes. She's very pretty, flaxen mane and tail. Um, she's gonna be really fun, great behind, great, great prospect. Super refined. Folks, thanks for coming tonight and viewing us at Times Live. For all of you that might have missed it or want to see this production again of the Cedar Ridge Futurity Maturity Horses, go to the Times website, which is ahtimes.com. Or Leah, you tell them about where they can go to for Cedar Ridge. Um, our website is cedarridgearabians.com and we will get this up there to view as well. And if you have any questions about any horse in particular, you can email me at leah at cedarridgearabians.com or call me, 515-520-7604, or John, 847-668-3538, and we'll answer any questions that you have. And folks, the number at Cedar Ridge is 952-492-6590. Thanks for joining us tonight on Times Live at Cedar Ridge. Hope you enjoyed the production. There's some great horses here, reasonably priced, ready to go. So if you enjoy them and you love them as we do, please call. Thanks and good night.